hi so i know that again this is not a forex channel but sometimes some of the things that we're going to discuss are going to slightly fall into forex but not necessarily just for forex secondly um i'm also going to explain the following topic because I have, a, I, I expect or I understand that there is a possibility that some of the people who are um, subscribers of this channel are forex traders as well, privately, not those people that run around and BMWs and, 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 and so on, privately, either they've been trading for a while or they want to get into forex or but not. Um, third is the following topic is also important even for investing as well. It's important to understand it for investing and perhaps I'll explain further in another video um, a particular myth that exists and why there's a misunderstanding of that myth. So maybe that should be in the next video. So the topic that we're looking at, my apologies, the topic that we're looking at for today is fundamental analysis <laughs> fundamental analysis the reason i'm looking at that is as i said there are people who trade forex who unfortunately have been exposed to the wrong concept of fundamental analysis and of course in investing it's also very important to be able to do and understand fundamental analysis even in forex so let's get to it so what is fundamental analysis? Let's start here. Fundamental analysis is not what these forex gurus are running around telling you. It's not that. Fundamental analysis is not looking at the NFP and the CPI and, and so on and looking at what's happening. Those are called events. Those are called events. Right. Um, they, they have slight movements in forex, and again, we're not sticking to forex, but they are events. They're not fundamental analysis. They can be, they can form parts of fundamental analysis, but they themselves are not just a fundamental analysis. They are event-driven or they're news-driven events. Right. Does that make sense? They're events or they are news, essentially. Right. So, that's number one. Again, if you're interested in how that probably works into forex, I'm probably going to put something on Patreon, I don't know, or in shop, some. But anyway, let's get back to the, the investing section. But the other reason it's important for investing, which is probably why here, is understanding, right, when you're investing your money, whether it's a good enough time. Remember that there are different reasons why. Um, you can have more market movements within your shares or your stocks. One of the reasons is that, oh, this probably should have been in the picture, <laughs> the free version. You know, one of the reasons is going to be based on your economic cycle. And then, of course, your um, share price itself. Right. So that becomes important. And so determining things like, the, the macroeconomic cycle, um, probably do a video on that as well, determining things like where you are in the macroeconomic cycle and and why your stock is behaving the way that it is, is going to be based on macro fundamental analysis. And then, of course, you're going to have your fundamental, now your micro fundamental analysis, which is going to be based on the share price itself and the company itself. What does this basically mean? So this doesn't become a very long, boring video. It basically means... There are instances where your share price is going to seem like it's not going anywhere, even though your fundamental and even though the fundamentals look good. There are also instances where the fundamentals don't look great and your share price is going to skyrocket. It's all right. So that is going to be linked between what's happening in the macro, right, in the bigger picture, like global, and what is happening within the company itself. So hopefully that makes sense. So basically, you can invest in a company, not see much movement, look at what's happening in the macro, 
And looking at what's happening in the macro is not just what is happening in the macro. There's actually an analysis behind that. And so when you're looking at that, then you understand why there isn't movement or whether you can expect movement and so on. So all of that gets into another complex world, which can bring amazing returns. Anyway, that's the basics. <laughs> that's the basics. Um, the rest I'll probably put, either put in the Patreon, like the, the pure details of those. I'll just explain more basic concepts aside. The more pure details will be on Patreon, or I'll probably create a course on the Patreon or something. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. But right now, that's all I've got. Understand that macro, that fundamental analysis is looking at what is actually happening within the sector, within the world, within that stock, and what is driving the stock to do what it's currently doing outside of the um, investors themselves, which can also form part of the fundamental analysis. If that confused you, <laughs> comment below and maybe I'll just break it down into shorter videos and explain the concepts a little better and that way I'll know that everyone eventually caught up. Um, yeah, I might release a few other videos where I'm slowly explaining some of the things that I've already mentioned in here just to make it a little easier and if it still doesn't work, comment below, tell me what it is that you need me to explain and that way I know that everyone who's on this channel has at least caught up. That's the goal. That's why this channel is so small. One of the reasons is because the information is intense, but the production, as you can see, is not great. Um, if this was for money, I probably would have put a lot more effort into this. But my goal is have a small channel. It's okay, but have a channel that has subscribers who have money. That's kind of the goal. So, yeah. I'm hoping, in closing, that all of my subscribers get to a point where they are wealthier than they are and they're wealthier than their colleagues in the future. Just 